Okay, crisscross jump in, yeah? Don't have to wear your jacket back to front for this one. Um, but crisscross is going to make you jump, jump. <laughs> Sorry. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in a diagonal fashion, forward and then back, okay? So, and it's plyometric, so it's load, explode, yeah, and then back. Oh, tried to go too far. You see, I went initially that way. So what I'd do for my next set, because I'm OCD, is go the other way. Okay, and that's, that's, I mean, it doesn't get simpler than that. The way you start it, okay, to get used to it, is a low squat position with a shorter distance. Yeah, so just getting used to it. As you feel more comfortable, deepen the squat jump further, further, further. If you have a longer space, like a gym or a sports hall, just go for it, yeah? What you can do if you've got a gym or a sports hall, waffling now, this would be solid. This would be a gym mat. That would be a gym mat. That would be solid, yeah? Then you could even have a little hurdle at the end and finish over a hurdle. Makes it a quite a good little circuit so see if I can show that so what you would do from going from solid to gym mat it's changing the surface so you would go across 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 and then hurdle at the end you can do all sorts with it honestly it's just imagination but changing the surface helps adding sideways hurdles helps if you don't have any of that crisscrossing back and forth perfect okay